Hi guys, welcome to today's workout. It is gonna be another step workout today. I have a set of 10 pound dumbbells and 115 for the strength portions. We'll do some step combinations, easy to follow, fun, cardio movements. Um, if you don't have a step, don't worry about it. You can just do it on the floor and just pretend you have a step. All right, so um, let's get started with a little warm up and keep the comments coming. If there's something that you wanna see um, on this page, let me know. All right, we're gonna start straddling that bench with a march. You wanna stay, try to stay light on your feet here. And as you march, think about your abdominals here, bringing that knee up. Really just pump those arms, get things going here. Tap and reach it up. Both arms, press it up. Chest press, you wanna get that upper body nice and warm. Arms come down. Give me a hamstring curl right here. Bringing that heel up, warming up the back of the leg. Knee lift, pull it down. Think about your abdominals helping to lift that knee up. Again. So a little crunch through the abdomen. Tap and reach. Four, three, give me a squat here, down and up. Sit back into those heels. Hold it down now, hold. Bring your hands to the step or you can keep them above the knees and pulse it down. Now be careful when you're pulsing, you wanna press back into those heels, not into your toes. Eight, seven, six, four, three, hold it down. Put your hands on the step or the floor, walk it back. So you're in a nice strong plank, hands into the shoulders, rock it forward and back for eight, seven, six. Keep those hips down. Four, three, two, bring it to downward facing dog and just pump those heels. You can do this one at a time or both heels at the same time. Eight more, it's eight, seven, six, four, three. Come back into that plank. Place your right foot to your right side of the step. Open up, take it to the other side. Opening up the chest, the hips. Take it side to side at your own pace. Last one, and bring it in. Straddle that bench, roll it up, take your hands above the knees. So we're gonna go down, round, release and come up. So it's down, round, release, come up. Again, down, round, release, bring it up. Last one, give me some shoulder rolls. Give me some arm circles here. Make me a little bigger, both arms. Four, three, two, march it out. All right, we're gonna get going. We're gonna start with our cardio portion. Let's just tap that bench, warming up those inner thighs a little bit. on top. We're just going to do a little bit of legs, no jumping, just to warm up those legs a little more. Have your feet together, pulse it down. We're going to squat to the right and to the center and to the left. So we're just getting started, but using the bigger muscles in the legs is going to get that heart rate up a little bit. Ready for more today.
march down on top and march it down carefully. All right, we are gonna get going. So I'm just gonna grab some water. So we're gonna start with some good step cardio. Then from there, we'll go into shorter intervals or bursts, whether we're using weights or not. All right, so give me a little jump rope here. Eight. Four more abs tight. Give me an over the top right here. Making the arms a little bigger. Listen up. Give me a diagonal over, two jumping jacks. Diagonal over, jack it out. Diagonal over, jack it out. Moving back, diagonal over. We're gonna keep this going. You can feel that heart rate going up. Last one. Give me a turn step right here. Step, step, down, tap. Arms add, a little intensity. Give me two more. Hold it here, jack it out, tap up and down. Turn a step. Jack it out, tap it up. Turn, do it again. Jack it out, tap it up. Turn. Now, if you want to add some power to that turn, one foot, jack it out, tap it up, do it again. Jack it out, tap it up, do it again. Tap it up, hold these taps, hold it. Make that tap a knee. You can add a little jump if you want. A little spring in your step. Get ready. Give me a repeater three. Two, one, tap it down, do it again. Do it again. Again, think about those abs as you bring that knee up. Now, instead of tapping it down, give me a knee. Two, three, knee up, do it again. Now you can add a little jump to that knee up. Woo! You don't have to jump. Your whole foot's on that step. Two more. Last one. Give me an over the top. All right. Listen up, over and lunge. So all we're gonna do is go into those lunges, reach it up, reach it down, reach it up. Reach it down, reach it up, take it down, reach it up, hold it here, hold it up, eight more, you got this, eight. Double it up right here. Pull that knee in. So it's two knees and switch. That knee is on the step. Four more. Three. Two. 
March it down. Behind your step. We're gonna add a little burst here before we repeat that on the other side. Four, three, give me a little football run here. Right into your toes, arms up. We're gonna do four or so football runs or mountain climbers. Do it at your own pace. It's only gonna be about 30 to 40 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're up, you're down. You want your hips down. So that's our first little burst. Not too bad. So you want to drive those knees into the chest. Now hold your mountain climber. Hold it. Drive that knee in. Two more. And one. Give me that jump rope on this side. Find that endurance. Go over the top. Recover. Ooh. How are we doing? See, that wasn't too bad. If the arms are too much, keep them right here. One diagonal over, two jacks. Diagonal over, two jacks. If you don't like the jack, do one knee push back. That's fine. You don't have to jump. You can do that knee. Woo. Other way. But if you like jumping jacks, add them in. One more. Hold it here. Four more. Four. Three. Remember that turn step? Both feet. Up, up, down, tap. Hold foot on that step. If you want to add that one foot option, you can. Remember that one? You have to pivot and lift that weight up. Two more. Jack it out. Tap it up. Turn. Jack it out. Tap it up. Turn. This is fine. Jack. Tap it up. Do it again. You got it. Jack. You can bury those arms. And jack. Tap it up. Couple more. If you want to add that jump, make sure you unload that weight. One more. Last one. Jack. Tap it up. Hold your tap. Hold your tap. Make it a knee. You know where I'm going with this, right? I'm just gonna move back so you can see me. Make a repeater. Break right down. Now, if you wanna add that jump on top, go for it. It's not much of a jump. You're just unloading from the step up. More importantly, I want you to bring that knee in. Working those abs, working the legs. Now give me a knee at the end of this. Right here, knee up. Woo! Come on, push. The more you drive the arms, the higher that heart rate. Nice long lever for those arms. Keep that chest up. Woo! Good job. 
two more. Last one. Over the top. All right, we're gonna go right into those lunges. Over and lunge. Now I want you to swim the arms and go back and forth on this one. You can travel up and then travel back. Remember, just that toe comes off, your whole foot's on top. Woo! Use your core here. Listen up. Two singles and a double. We're ready for it. Single, single. Double any arms you want. You can even go down and then do the double up. Any way you want. This is just a variation of what we did before. repeater three we're just going to do seven we exit and go over lunge six and do it on the other side that's it are we ready seven up right here two three four five get off over lunge six oh i missed it one two three four five get off seven up one two three four five Six, there it is, over lunge six. I only did six there. Two, three, four, five, get off. Seven up. So it's seven and six. Three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now you can go deeper here. Seven up. If you want to do glute squeezes, four, five, six, seven. You can do glutes. So you can really do anything there. I'm going to do glutes on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, over six. Now you can stay here. Here we go. I'm going to do a half left side leg lift. Five, six, over lunge six. Variations with or without the jump over lunge six. Here's a hamstring curl. Now you can do it with or without that jump on top. Over lunge six. You can pivot here to make it harder. Last one right here. Lunge six, last one. One, two, three, four, five. March it out. Woo! How we doing? I'm gonna check my time. Keep moving here. Woo! 
we had a good solid 20 on the step. Easy peasy, right? Grab one weight. I'm gonna grab a 15. All right. Remember that squat we did right at the beginning? We're gonna do it with a weight. Yikes, this is heavier than I go normally. All right, we're gonna squat, come up to standing, squat, come up to standing. All right, here we go. See how you're coming up now? It's a little different than what we did at the beginning. These are gonna be 30 to 40 second intervals from here on in, unless I tell you otherwise. Unless we're doing something more endurance, like that first 20 minutes. So hold on a good heavy weight here if you can. Slight toe turnout. You can do these on the floor too. Last two. Last one. Put that weight down. Ooh. All right. Grab, I'm gonna grab lighter weights now. I'm gonna grab my tens. All right. This one, we're gonna add a little bicep curl. We're gonna start with a rack. We're gonna go down, up, down. So just like we did before with one weight, but we're adding a little bicep curl and an overhead press. You can also do this with one weight. Use what you have. Evolving a little bit more muscle now. Really get those elbows straight on the curl. Feel your core here. Last one. Feel those shoulders. Woo. Put those weights down. You can put them right in front of your step. That way they're right there for you. Next one, inner thigh and core. Love this one. So you're gonna have your hands about in the middle of the step. Toes are gonna come up. You're gonna be in a high, in a plank, but your hips are gonna be high. Inner thigh and core. If you don't like jumping both feet together, just tap. So you're on your tippy toes, you come up and down. Keep your eyes at your hands. You wanna keep that neck nice and long. I just had a look at the clock. <laughs> you're on the balls of your feet the whole time. And you can tap. You can tap to make it low impact. That's fine too. We are moving into our interval portion. So everything's gonna be 30 to 40 seconds. You're gonna grab two weights for this one. This is gonna be legs. It's one deadlift, two squats. I'm gonna do this from the side, you don't need to step. All right, so it's one deadlift, squat, squat. Go at your own pace. The deadlift is going to be a little slower than the squat. Or you can slow everything down. Woo. Breathe. You have about 10 seconds left. Nice hinge at the hip on that deadlift. One more. Put them down. Half burpee. On the step, you don't have to do it with the step at all. It's actually very nice on your hands. 
Your hands are going to be at the front of the step. You're going to start in the plank and you're going to bring the legs in. If you don't like doing two at the same time, tap the right, tap the left, go back to that plank. So I want you to start in a plank with the feet wide, wider than the bench. You're going to come in and out. 30 seconds. Now you can put your heels down as you come in. Go by how you feel. Hands are right under your shoulders. This is your core work. Your upper body too. Last one. Whew. You felt those shoulders, right? Good. Whew. Grab your weights again. All right, I'm gonna face the side. We're gonna do the back and shoulders here. Palms forward. You're gonna hinge at the hip for a deadlift and an upright rub. High pull. Keep your hands close to the body. Really press into those heels, hinge at the hip, just like we did with those squats. We did the hip hinge deadlift with the squats. It's the same part A of that movement. Feel those shoulders, come on. Come on. Use your shoulders, use your back. Last one. Good job. Put them down. Woo. We're going to use that step again. Good. Good, good. I'm going to just check my time really quick. I want to stay on task. Good. All right. For this one, you know how we do that 180 degree turn? We're going to use the step. So you're going to sink down and then switch. If you don't like that, you can do regular lunges like you did before, or you can do rear lunges off the step. I just don't want you to pivot turn like that. It might hurt your knees and I don't want to risk that. All right. Now you can do this really powerful with your arms up. It's going to be about 35 seconds, or you can just keep the arms here. But remember, you're using your core to jump and switch. Ready? Here we go. If you want, add the arms. I'm going to keep my arms right here. I like to concentrate more on my core and my legs and going down. Make sure your whole foot's on the step. Feel those quads. Two more. Good job. Woo! How we doing? Nice job. Triceps. We're gonna take one heavy weight. We're gonna be right here. <sighs> Breathe. Now I'm gonna go 15. I may switch to a 10. So if you don't need to switch, you keep going. Wide legs, knees slightly bent. We're gonna go down two and up two. Elbows pull in. You're finding that stability through the lower body, the core. Keep a pelvic tilt here. And I want you to do these slow. Even if you have a light weight, you want to get your thumbs just about to the top of the shoulder blades. You're not resting them there. You're just kind of letting them tap 
or just come close. Almost there. Really find that core. Keep the elbows pulling in. You have one more. Oh, bring it in. Ooh, good job. Nice job. All right. For this one, we're going to do a burpee. So we're going to add something. We're going to start on top. We're going to jump back, jump down, back, in, and up. You can do regular burpees here on the floor. You don't have to add that step, or you can walk it down for your burpee and walk it up. Totally fine. Ready? Let's try to get for about 40 seconds here. Here we go. Make sure when you come up to jump, you're ready to go to jump up. Don't jump with lock knees. If you don't think you can clear the bench, walk it up. You get harder as you get tired. Two more. Good job. Steps again. We're going to sit for these tricep dips. I like to throw in some body weight so that you can really work even if you don't have weights. So your hands are going to be on the step. You're not going to be here. Really elongate the neck. Open the chest. We're going to do 16 counts with the right leg out, 16 with the left. Come up and take a break and then repeat it. All right. Right leg out, you don't have to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you're bending and straightening those elbows. Hands are as light as you can. Get them. Switch. Eight more. Four, three, two, have a seat. We're gonna do it again, not much of a break. We ready? You can also have that foot over. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight again. Even if you have to slow them down, switch. Just make sure you're bending and straightening those elbows. Four, back as close to that step. Come on up. Ooh. Couple of wrist circles. Come on up. Good job. All right. I'm gonna give you another one that you can do on the floor as well. and I'll show you a version of it if you don't want to do the jump with the step. So you're going to be at the back of your step. You're going to jump up, half burpee, come up and down, football run back. So you're going to go down, up and down, out and in. Doesn't matter which one you do first. And then back. Now if you want, just football run up, football run back, football run up, Football run back, that's fine too. So it really doesn't matter which one you do first. Use your legs. Can we do two more? Make sure you have those knees bent. Recover. Nice. Four. Good job. Get your weights. 
I'm gonna turn my bench. Whenever you turn your bench, make sure you check those risers again. Make sure they're secure. Good job. All right, good to go. Get two weights. All right, for this one, you're gonna be in a little hip hinge and we're gonna do three sets of eight reared out flies. You can take a break in between and then I want you to have just a slight bend in the knee, but if you need to come up, roll the shoulders, do another set. Hinge at the hip, it's not a deadlift, it's more little hinge. Here we go. These are off the beat. Five, six, seven, you're working the back of the shoulder and the back. Eight, seven, don't lift the back. Six, one more set. Use your rear delt, back of the shoulder. Keep those abs tight, push into those heels, breathe, do what you gotta do. Three, two, one, roll those shoulders. Now, the reason I said to take that break because your neck can get tight. The minute you start doing this, I want you to come up, do a shoulder roll, do another four or eight. Perfect, we're gonna do another two sets, but this time we're gonna add a row. So it's gonna be row, side lateral, all right? We have 16 total. Little hip hinge, palms face each other. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's it, seven, eight. Woo, come down. I'm gonna check my time. Couple more intervals. Right. All right. This one, we're gonna do a skater to a burpee. This is a really nice one, and it's great to do on the step. So you're gonna get one side of your step. You're gonna leap over, leap, burpee. Now, if you want, make it a one foot burpee. Totally doable. If you want. You can also do this on the floor, but you're holding that knee in. Again, you can do it with both feet. You can do a jump. That makes it a little harder when you jump with two feet. So if it's not challenging enough, do one big hop. That's fine too. Nice option here. Last one. Ooh, good job. On top of your step. This one is going to be chest and core. One of my favorites. All right. Also leg. All right, so you're gonna grab your weights. You'll be down. Now it's gonna be a chest press, but you're gonna be in a bridge. Now you can also have your feet on the step, which I'm gonna do. So you're gonna be right here, you're gonna go down and up. So feet on or off the step. So it's a chest press with the bridge. You don't have to do it with the bridge. You can hold the bridge up. Do whatever you want here. We only have one more cardio after this. It's gonna work the chest again. Last 
last one. Hold it up. Hold that bridge. Bring the weights down and give me power pumps right here for 24 if you can. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last set, breathe. If you want, give me a bonus set. Finish it out with 32. Four, three, two, all the way up. Bring those weights together, bring them in, lower down, lift your head, lift one leg and roll it up. It's a great way to come up safely. All right. Now, this one's a fun one. We're gonna do a burpee with a push-up and an over the top. All right. I'm gonna turn my step again. Love these. Okay. So, pretend you're gonna go over this way. You're gonna go down, one hand on the step, one off. Burpee. Up and down. If you want, jump over the step or jump over with both feet. I didn't do it that well, but I wasn't expecting to do it. So you're gonna really make sure you can clear that bench. Anyway, you can run it over. You can leap it over. Or you can jump it over. I'm gonna mix it up. Do a little hybrid. Work in the chest, put that plank, work in the core. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, no joke. Ooh, good job. I'm gonna cool it down. Walk around. Good job. I'm gonna turn my step again. As part of our cool down, we're gonna do a push up. To a down dog, slow. Believe me, you're gonna thank me. This is a little core, it's a little chest, but it's slow. Slow, slow. All right, hands on the step. You're gonna start the plank. You're gonna give me a push up. You can do the push up on your knees too. Down dog, and then just keep going. You only have about 30 to 40 seconds. Gives you an opportunity to do a push up slow, controlled one at a time. Keep your head neutral. Don't pay attention to me. I keep looking at that clock because I want to stay on the interval. You can totally do the push up on your knees. But if you're working on real push ups or full push ups like me, I like to do these, and I also get a nice stretch through my calf. Let's try to bang one more out. Good job. And bring your knees down and go into child's pose. Ah. Come forward and tuck that pelvis under. And do a little upward facing dog here. You can do this, I'm on my knees. You can also do it on your toes. Works that low back in a good way. and gives those abdominals a little stretch, your chest a stretch. Shoulders down, of course. You don't have to look up here. Bring it down to your knees again, child's pose. From here, I want you to reach to one side of your step to stretch from your feet. You can feel a nice stretch right here. Bring it to the other side. It's 
bring it back to center. And bring it up. Good job, come all the way up. I'm gonna lower the music just a bit while we pull down. You're gonna stand on top of your step, if you have one. If you don't, don't worry about it. We're gonna stretch that calf. So you're gonna bring about a third of your body weight down. That heel is off. One foot on the step, you're gonna bring your right arm around. Stretch the shoulder, stretch your calf. Release it, change sides. Again, about a third of that body weight. Set this up first, find your balance, and then bring that arm around. You wanna make sure that shoulder is down. You can tilt your head if you like, but if you feel unstable on the step, just keep that focal point. Release it, feet apart, hands above the knees, flat back down, and then roll it up. And then give me a shoulder roll at the top. Again, knees are soft, drop the head, roll it up, shoulder roll. One more time. Make sure you're breathing here. Good work. Uh, lace the fingertips behind you. And at this point, I'm gonna have you do a calf stretch. So you're gonna press that heel down. This is just a little different way. I feel it a little bit higher in the calf here. And depending on how far your heel goes down, you'll feel it lower. You're gonna open up the chest, lift the arms up. Bring your hands to your hips. Keep the back heel down, bend the knee. You're gonna feel it a little bit more in the Achilles. So everybody has a little different flexibility here. It's a great stretch to do. Now bring this leg in and stretch that hamstring of this leg. So you can gently pull that toe in, go by how you feel. You keep that chest lifted if your heart's still racing. Release it, come on up. Other leg goes back. Give me that calf stretch on this side and you do not need a step for this. I just have it so I feel like you can see me a little better. Lace the fingertips again, open up the chest a little more, lift the arms up. Uh, bring your hands to your hips. Keep that back heel down, bend the knee. And again, you're gonna feel the knee Achilles a little bit. Still tuck that pelvis. Drag that back leg in, front toe comes up. Again, you can go down deeper if you want. You can take it all the way down, nose to knee. Just go by how you feel. Lower the toe, roll it up. Carefully step down off your bench if you're up. Uh, take those feet wide now and just take it side to side. And let's just stretch out those inner thighs a little bit. You can even take your hands to the step or floor here. Those inner thighs worked hard. I hope you liked today's workout. I thought it would be a good combination of a little bit of step for my steppers out there. Nothing too hard, hold it center, deep breath. Exhale, walk it in, inhale, hands to your heart. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you liked today's workout. Put some gratitude, kindness, and love into your heart for yourself, for others, for the community, for the world. Namaste. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Make sure you hydrate.